We are very excited given what has gone on in the last 24 hours. We come now to match number 12 of the HBL PSL. The Columbus needing points against Peshawar Zalmi. Two very, very popular faces, Shaheen Shah and uh, Babar Azam here in Lahore. A little bit earlier at the toss, Shaheen Shah finally, finally got the option of choosing to bowl first. They've batted first in every game and lost every game up to now. Simon Dool was out there in the middle with them. Peshawar Zalmi makes no changes and no surprise. This is the 11 that beat Multan Sultan, the only team that has been able to do that. Good bowling as well. Naveen ul comes in and Luke Wood. Yes, a few issues, few problems for Lahore Kalandas. Not only they've they lost all their games, they need to start winning now. Otherwise, it might get a little too late. Two changes. Carlos Prethford comes in for George Linde who had an injury and then of course Haris Rauf we saw last night uh, dislocating his right shoulder so he's out of this tournament which is sad because he looked really good the other day one slip six men on the offside fine leg inside the circle it's time to start. Let's look for that swing. One slip in place. Deep third and deep square leg. On the mark, Saeem Ayub, who has been struggling to reproduce what we saw from him last year this season. How far off do you think he is? Very compact stroke from Saim Ayu. Technique here, Saim. We know him for innovation, but we also know him for technique. Showing the stickers right from the middle of the bat. That's easy. That's very, very easy. On the legs, and Babar ain't gonna miss those. 18 without loss. Just needed to get a little bit of bat on it. He went hard, Saeem Ayub, and he's picked up four. To full the first ball, to short the second ball. And how much is enough batting first on this surface here in Lahore? Always a big question. Yeah, meat and drink. It's a little bit early, but Ayub looks in business mode tonight. Imran, Mohammed Imran. Oh, lovely shot. Very, very classical from Babarazm. Right out of the coaching manual. That's lovely. Beautiful placement. And timing from Bubba. Moves through to 49 with that loss. Very good evening, Marina Iqbal and Dominic Cork. Gets it away. And who put a cut? Up and over a roundabout second slip position. Clever. Swung away. Short side. Big enough. And a catch, too, by one of the ball men. In his own, Saim Ayub loves to do that, take the challenge back to the spinners. And that is exactly the sort of acceleration now Zalmi requires. Question and answer. Racing across the turf. Four more. It's quite right against spin up at 191 for Saim Ayub, so he prefers the spin to the pace. Short boundary and dealt with. Lovely follow through. He's up to 49. 
Inside edge, quickly, they'll get through, and he'll bring up his sixth PSL 50, Sai Mayu, his 12th T20, half century, sixth in PSL, five fours and two sixes. 11 overs done, and the 100 is up. Zalmi 100 without loss. Pulled through. Another good piece of fielding, is it? Is it? Is it? Asambati with a hand, I think, then onto his face and then goes for a boundary. All the way, does he get it in the middle? Yes, finally. He's been trying the last couple of overs to bisect the two fielders. He has done now. Up and over, what a shot. Weight was back. Got the elevation and the power. Four maximums now. Opening up the offside this time. Excellent use of the feet, excellent extension of the arms, and the distance is there. Pulled. Straight to deep mid wicket. And Baba falls short of another half century. 74 meter boundary. Baba tried to. Clear that one, but it was Sikandar Raza. Babar Azam gone for 48, is uh, 136 for one. Not a happy captain, good piece of timing. Gordon Powell, fresh at the crease. Ooh. Is it? Sounded like a little noise there, and Rodman Power straight away has reviewed it. Given out on field, it's been reviewed straight away. Over to the third umpire. Yeah, roll forward. Nice and slow. Flat line, flat line. So satisfied. Uh, uh, no bat involved. I recommend you to change your uh, decision from out to not out. Shaking our heads a little bit up here, <laughs> Marina Iqbali and Bishop. Swung to the short side, there's a man there, can't get it. Just over the head of the man at deep backward square. Yeah, not full tosses though, Bish. Unfortunately, Rodman Powell's got all the power to put those away. 150 up now. Whatever he's trying at the moment is just not working. That's length and Rodman Powell all over him. Oh, yes, sir. It was a dipping slower ball. He's done well to stay down. Another maximum. This over is already gone for 20. This time he gets it up and over, goes past Mohamed Rizwan as the highest score of the season in HBL PSL, moves to 86, same. Well, they'll learn straight through, good Yorker. Nice from Shaheen, picks up the set, same Ayoub for a brilliant 88. That's his speciality, Shaheen Shah Freedy. Too good for Saim, just trying to create some room. Can't get better than that, just clipping the legs down in the slot. Just tried to put it away. And Saim Ayub after a superb innings of 88 of just 55. Clever, very clever indeed. No, no, no. Couldn't copy his mate from earlier. Put it down, but a lovely shot. Straight up, mid-wicket, under it, got to go, oh, well done in the end, he reached backwards, Fakhir Zaman, I thought he'd misjudged it momentarily. Of the delivery as it reached or arrived at the batter. Yeah, no problem with that at all, and I think the catch was fine too. 
no problems on all counts. Short and sharp for Rasif Ali. Gone for six from three. It is 181 for three. Ahmed Harris, man on strike. He starts with a maximum as well. Walks across his stumps. Flicks it leg side to the short side. Oh, wow, that's back of the bat, I think. And clever from Ahmed Harris. 200 comes up with a one over to go. It is 202 for three. High, straight to the man. It's Fakir again at deep mid wicket. Takes the catch. And a good finish from Jahandad. Into the surface again, just trying and forcing them to go into the leg side. No pace whatsoever. He went for the wild swing. Bit of damage control done by Jahandad and Fakhar. Brilliant innings come to an end. Powell gone on 46. Peshawar four down on 209. Paul Walter, last ball of the innings. A run for two. Should get back quite comfortably, and they do. Decent over, though, from uh, Jahandar. Just nine runs from the final over, and that wicket of Rodman Powell. But the Zalmi will post a very impressive 211 for four at the end of their 20 overs. It was all about partnerships and impact from Peshawar Zalmi. Brilliant opening partnership of 136 between Simon and Baba. Phenomenal lock of 88-48. For Barbara Powell, with some serious hitting, scored 46 of just 20. And Harris, with his clever 12, managed to get 211. Some figures here that these bowlers won't want to see too much more of. Zaman, Ashan and uh, Imran, all expensive. Sekunda Raza, just a couple of overs for 20. Brathwaite, most economical, along with uh, Shaheen Shah Afridi. Three for 33 for the captain off his four overs. And that is the equation in front of the Kalandas. They are winless in the tournament, remember? And that is a tough ask. 212 to win off their 120 balls. Required them for the Kalandas, they need a win. They're desperate for a win. Samayoub with the first ball, here we go. Big man was down there, he spoke to us a little bit earlier. He was down and stopped that. Gets that little bit of shape. Lovely timing. Wow. Was hit hard, could have easily gone into the hands because the weight didn't go forward. Ball was in the air for, uh, for a little while, but uh, luckily it went straight in the gap. Cut through. Strong shot, little bit of width on offer. Back to back boundaries then. Excellent shot from Sabzada Farhan. Farhan played a superb knock earlier. Great timing, great timing. Game is on. Third boundary on the trot. Nick, gone. Wide delivery. Zalmi have their first. When you're chasing such a big total, you have to be aggressive. Had the room, he had just thrown the kitchen sink at it. Wonderfully taken by a young wicketkeeper. Informed batsman. For Han gone for 15, he's 17 for one. Cut away. Wits on offer. They're not going to just fall away here. They're going to come hard at the Zelmi. Beautiful looking shot. I think this goes all the way, it does. 10 from the over, 36 for one. Fallen straight, England versus Pakistan, and England win. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ball was nice and straight, 
And I think Wood knew it. Wood knew that uh, it's, it's about time that Fakhar will look to play. Big shot. Great bowling, nice and straight. Picking up a wicket of uh, Fakhar Zaman. Fakhar gone for four, is 38 for two. Big side of the ground, but into vacant territory. Right in the slot, and uh, Rassi van der Dusen loves it. 50 comes up, he is 30 from 13. He's turning the game on, it doesn't matter if he's losing partners on the other end. Finds a gap, he splits it with precision. 56 for two after the power play. He wanted it, he wanted it, he got it. I don't know if he got as close to it if, as he initially thought he would, but he's gone short side of the ground nicely. Hit to the shorter side. Shea Hope with his first maximum. 50 partnership comes up. Can't bowl there, you cannot bowl there. 50 up. But Rassi van der Dusen is third in PSL, his 38th score of 50 or more in T20 cricket, and he brings it up in just 27 deliveries. Well, he's 17, and the way he has batted has really shifted the momentum. You can see the Peshawar Zalmi camp. There is a bit of panic because of the class of this, in, this innings of 50. Inside edge, full toss. And Shea Hope has to depart. Keep your disciplines and bowl as much as you can to the plan. Ask him to fetch it. It's not the perfectly executed Yorker. He tried to go wide Yorker. Hope goes for 29. 109 for three. Does he get enough of it? Yes, he does. Again, getting hit to that short boundary. Listen to Ian Bishop. Bishop, go to that longer boundary outside off stump. He puts more pressure on this man, even though that'll go for a boundary. He puts more pressure on this man because he's trying to get boundaries. Look at that for dancing. Go on, son. This one hit over extra cover. This will be a boundary to finish. Decent over, good shot, 13 from it. Big side and big enough. That's not the line if you're short. The line if you're full. When the Dusan decided to go under the ball and made sure that he get that elevation. Oh, fortunate, fortunate boundary, but they'll take them, the Calanders. Not a bad delivery at all. Great start, great start, he meets him outside the line of off, powers it over long on. Missed the length completely, he was searching for a Yorker and presented to an Adusan with a nice, juicy full toss. Out towards the man, should be taken, is taken, great catch. Same Ayoub is having a night out, and that is a terrific grab in the deep. Under pressure, never easy, he had to run to his left. Brilliantly taken, got under the ball, watch those eyes, watch those eyes. Beautifully taken, great hands, but he gone for 20s, 164 for ball. Again, what is he doing bowling leg stump? Well played, Jahandad, but it is a poor option going straight. Whipped away, that'll be four more. That'll be four more, good from Jahandad. There's that little edge, there's that little edge that'll run away for four. It does. 
They were searching for a big over. Four deliveries, three boundaries and a wide. 26 required off eight. Oh, there we go! 100 for Rossi van der Dussen, his fifth in T20 cricket, his first in the HBL PSL. And what a time to do it. The brilliant South African, Rossi van der Dussen, looking to get Lahore Calendars home. What a special knock that was. Lahore has got their money worth. That is some knock. Strike rate of over 200. That is magical knock. It's high. It's not long enough. It's straight to long on. It's out. It's the captain who takes the catch. It's Paul Walter with the wicket. Some celebration, but not much in the crowd because there's only a few Zelmi supporters here. Great bowling, one must say that. Because change of pace at this stage could have been risky. Very happy Zalmis. 196 for five now. Sikandaraza. Leg side, straight to the man. They should go for two, have to go for two. Close, close. Saeem Ayub, the fielder. Yes, yeah, Saeem Ayub having a, a great evening. He might be out, he might be out. Yes, he's out. And Lahore Kalandas, unfortunately, losing another wicket here. Last ball. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Good strike, but it's all over. Rishabh Zalmi winning this game by eight runs all that good innings come to an end he's done the job for Peshawar Zalmi it's Baba Razum's men who come out on top Sabzada Fahan with 15 Fakhar Zaman struggled 4 from 8 Rassi Fandadus and the standout in that inning Shea Hope and uh, Asan with uh, small contributions, Jahandad with 13. And in the end, 203 for six. The Shabar Zelmi bowlers pick of the ball on Avidul and Haki did win for runs 50. To be specific, but pick, picked up two important wickets. One for Ward, one for Walter and Salman Ashad. They all went for runs, but importantly, dried out at the end and made things difficult for Lahore. 11 for four on the back of same Oob's 88. Baba with 48 and Robman Powell's powerful 46 off just 20 deliveries propelled the Zelmi to their score and the Kalandas looked on target for part of that chase courtesy of Rossi van der Dussen's 104 not out of 52 but fell eight runs short. Right, uh, the Zelmi four points that uh, negative run rate still leaves them behind the Karachi Kings having played four. The Sultans could receive another win this afternoon, sit with four wins, clearly on top of the table ahead of the Gladiators and the Kings. And the Kalandas and Islamabad United with plenty of work to do, top four teams qualifying.